Welcome to the 5D Academy of Higher Consciousness. I'm Zarathustra. And um, today we're going to talk about um, basically, are we a machine? Are we pre-programmed? Um, or we have our own free will and we can choose what to do? Um, or everything is simply a program and we're operating from this program. So we're going to get into that and talk about it. Basically, we are a pre-programmed uh, machine. We've been programmed as we were born and uh, basically all our behaviors, everything we do, our reactions, our fears, our worries, um, our talents, intelligence, everything that we possess, positive or negative, and you're experiencing in this life, all of it is pre-programmed. None of it is really what you decide to do or feel or think or behave in a certain way. It's all pre-programmed. And that's kind of like, wow, you know, because uh, where did this come from? It's very difficult to accept it, especially for the mind. Because when I say this, you're gonna have thoughts and you're gonna, you're gonna say, well, how, how could that be? You know, it's it's not, it's impossible because I choose what to do. I decide uh, what to do, where to go, what to eat, whether I come and sit here and listen to you today or not. That's what your mind will say. And uh, there's another question that says, what are we working on? Uh, well, you're just, what happens is the, we, we, to, to understand this, you have to go a little bit beyond um, this area that basically I have free will or I don't have free will. This is completely pre-programmed um, or not. You kind of need to go beyond that is understanding beyond uh, this particular con uh, subject, uh, there's a few different things. A is to understand that these are all concepts. So this is this also is a concept of whether I have free will or it's destiny. This everything I explain is also a concept. Anything else you in spiritual world that you read and you analyze and you talk about is also a concept, all of it. For example, let's go to pseudo spirituality, which is being taught today and it's very, very popular about that um, you have the power of manifesting and it is your brain, your thoughts, and it's very powerful. And whatever you start thinking and focusing on gets manifested because you are also God and you are co-creator. You're partners with God and you are creating, co-creating with God. And that's wonderful concept. It's amazing. Wow, I'm co-creator, I'm partners with God, and I can use the power of my thoughts in order to manifest and create. And consequently, what happens, there are times that uh you are you think of things something keeps coming up for you 
and it happens. Or you think of somebody and uh, when you're, you're in the US, you think of somebody who is in India or in Japan and uh, 30 seconds after that person calls you out of nowhere and they tell you they've been thinking about you. And uh, so it reinforces this whole concept that I have the power to manifest and uh, I'm partners, I'm co-creating with God. So that too is also a concept. And it depends on where we're at in our spiritual growth, our, it, where we're at um, in our evolution or where, um, what is your destiny? Let's put it this way. How your destiny has been written, you gravitate towards one of these concepts or more than one and you go in that direction and you adopt one of them and you live based on that the okay for example um i have spoken about stillness and being still, being quiet. So the more you're still, the more your mind is in silence. You're in this place. The more you're quiet, the more you are not uh, identifying with the pendulum of life. And then the question comes, one of our, our participant is asking me, well, you're telling us to be still. And is this to be still? Do I have, a, do I have any free will to be still and to be silent or not? And my answer would be no. You, you can't even be still or be silent not out of your own free will. If it's not written, if it's not a part of your program, you won't be able to do it. You can only do that and come to that place if it's a part of your program. So then comes another question. It says, well, um so what's the meaning of this what does this mean i mean if we're a pre-programmed machine and what's the point of it of living on a planet and doing whatever we're doing and uh in a way a lot of people may say well i'm going to lose my motivation because then I won't do anything. I'm just gonna sit home and not do anything. So let me answer the first part of it. The first part of it, when we talk about, um, so what's the meaning of all of it? What does this mean? That if we're all this 7 billion people let's say supposedly there is 7 billion, which we don't even know that because all you hear is a number, but you never get to see the 7 billion people. So you hear a number and you're going based on that number. But let's say they, they're there and none of them have any free will, none of them, uh, are in charge of what they're doing. 